What's up you guys? Today I'm going to show you how to create a drawing in the style of Keith Haring. If you're new to my channel, please be sure to stick around and check out my other art videos, art tutorials, and art lessons. I have so many super fun projects on this channel, Rainbow Parrot Art. And please support me by subscribing to this channel and liking this video. Keith Haring was an American artist born in Pennsylvania. He lived from 1958 to 1990. As a small child, Keith's father taught him how to draw. And from that point onwards, he drew almost constantly. In 1978, he moved to New York City and became a street artist, making art on the streets and subways. Because this is illegal, he got arrested several times. Very quickly, galleries began to show his work and he became famous. Even though he was famous, he was determined that his artwork be available to everyone. He opened up a merchandise store where people could purchase inexpensive copies of his artwork. He also painted over 50 public works of art and murals in charities, daycare centers, and hospitals all over the world. By the time he died at the young age of 31, he had become one of the most famous artists of the 20th century. Let's take a closer look at Keith Haring's style. Haring can be considered a pop artist because he uses simple, bold images from everyday life and culture. He often fills in his subjects with solid, bright colors. His forms are simple. He often draws the human form capturing movement and his characters look as though they are dancing. Many of his drawings of people are inspired by the break dancers that he often saw dancing in the streets in New York. This dog makes many appearances in his artwork. He's also well known for this image of a baby, which is often called Radiant Baby. To him, this baby represents youthful innocence, goodness, purity, and potential. Keith uses bold black lines to outline his subjects. He also uses lines outside the bodies to suggest movement. To get started, I'm grabbing a large piece of paper and a pencil with an eraser. I'm drawing a circle head and a simple stick figure body. I'm bending the legs and adding a short straight line for the foot. The other leg is going to be sticking straight out the side. The arms are bent and pointing up into the air. I'm going to add Radiant Baby down here in the corner. A circle for the head, a straight back, bent legs and a short straight line for the foot and straight arms and a short line for the hands. This person is going to look like they're jumping into the air with legs bent out to the side and arms raised above the head. I'm drawing a large heart up top reminiscent of this very famous print by Herring. I'm adding a stick figure holding up the heart and right next to the heart, another stick figure jumping up into the air. Here I've got an upside down stick figure that's doing a cartwheel. I'm drawing the dog down here on the left, starting with a rectangle for the body, a short pointy tail, four straight lines for the legs, two pointy ears, and an angular muzzle with an open mouth. I'm adding a figure up here, tilting forward as if they're about to do a, head, a handstand. Now, here's where the magic happens. I'm going to take a Sharpie and trace a bubble shape around the stick figures. See how I'm rounding the back and the belly of the baby so it looks a bit more natural? Now I'm tracing around each stick figure. Thank you. 
if I were going to do this over again, I would make the midsections of my stick figures wider and thicker. I think they're a little bit too skinny. See how the midsection on these two look a little bit too narrow? I made the middle sections on these two a bit wider and I think that looks a lot better. So just keep that in mind. Once I'm done drawing each stick figure, I'm going back and carefully erasing my pencil marks. Now I'm adding some lines radiating out from the heart. I'm adding lines coming out of the dog's mouth so it looks like it's barking. I'm adding some lines outside my figures to emphasize the fact that they are moving. I'm drawing some straight lines radiating outward from the radiant baby and finishing up with a few more lines around my figures that suggest movement. Now that I'm all done drawing and outlining, I'm going to fill in my figures with solid colors using Crayola markers. You could also use crayons, colored pencils, or paint, but I think markers look really good because they are so bold and bright. I hope you love how your drawing turns out. Be sure to say hi in the comments below and check out the other art lessons on my channel, Rainbow Parrot Art.